Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We're going to talk about the root test for infinite series. It's very similar to the ratio test and how it worked. So we're trying to find the convergence or divergence of some infinite series and it has positive terms. The difference between the ratio test and the root test for the root test, our limit that we find is actually the limit of the nth root of the explicit formula for the terms. And as far as how L works out, our limit, it's the same thing as the ratio test. If our limit is less than one, then our original series converges. If it's greater than one, we get that it diverges. And a limit of one, just like the ratio test, we'll get that the test fails, and then we'll have to revert to some other test to actually figure out convergence or divergence for our series. Some overall intuition for the test, it's very similar to the ratio test in that it determines if the terms eventually behave like a geometric series that converges or diverges. For the root test, since we're taking the nth root, a lot of times this is convenient when you have powers that actually contain n in the terms. Looking here, we have the sum from 1 to infinity of 3n plus 5 over 2n minus 1 all to the n. Uh, and I have a power of n here, so that makes this a nice candidate for the root test. So we go ahead and look at my limit of the nth root of this. Well, the nth root, right? So if I'm taking an nth root of 3n plus 5 over 2n minus 1, to the n, well, the nth power and the nth root are going to reduce one another, especially if everything's positive. And then we'll simply just get the limit of what was in parentheses to begin with, right? We'll get 3n plus 5 over 2n minus 1. And either one iteration of L'Hopital's rule or just comparing lead coefficients because these have the same degree, we should get a limit of 3 halves. And since this limit is greater than 1, when the limit is greater than 1, we'll get that the original series diverges by the root test. And so this was just a very quick first example of how to deal with this. The root test is pretty short overall. It doesn't work on everything. Uh, but overall, as a test, it's pretty quick to do. Let's look at n over 2 to the n. We'll have our limit being the nth root of that. So we'll have the nth root of n over 2 to the n. Um, so we sort of have different ideas here if I break up the top and the bottom separately. So that would be the limit of, on the top I would have the nth root of n, and on the bottom I would have the nth root of 2 to the n. Now on the bottom I think we can certainly see that an nth power and an nth root will reduce one another especially since everything is positive there. So we'll have the limit of the nth root of n over just the number 2. And you may remember the limit of the nth root of n is one of our special limits that we encourage you to know uh, so that you can use it in some of these convergence and divergence tests. The limit of this is actually 1 on the top. So we actually get a limit of 1 half. That limit is less than 1, and when we have less than 1 for the limit in the root test, then this original series will converge. So we would say that this converges by the root test. Okay, looking at just a couple more here. They look very similar though. We have the sum of 1 plus 1 over n all to the n squared, and then we have the sum of 1 over 1 plus n just to the n. So for this first one, we would look at the limit of the nth root of 1 plus 1 over n all to the n squared. And if I have n squared as a power and the nth root, um, I would go ahead and divide these. So n squared over n would just be n. So I would get that L equals the limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the n, and this is one of our special limits that we should know. This was e as a limit. e, remember, is about 2.7 and some change, so we say our limit is greater than 1. Since our limit is greater than 1, we know that this diverges by our root test. Looking at this one, 1 plus 1 over n to the n is a limit that we know, but in the limit for the root test, we want to take the nth root of that thing. So taking the nth root of 1 plus 1 over n to the n is going to get rid of the nth 
power as well. So we will get the limit then of simply one plus one over n. And as n gets larger and larger, we will get zero for this fraction on the right. So we'll get one plus zero. The limit for this one is actually one. And so what we would need to do for this one is find some other test because we get that the root test here is going to fail with a limit of one. Okay, hopefully this gives you a good start on the root test. The ratio test is very similar. If you haven't checked out our ratio test video already for infinite series, you might check that out as well. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next video.